I look at children playing their games. This is a fact, right? Because when I was a child, I felt that way too. I play the game because it's so real to me, right? I don't play the game because it is just a game, but rather it's so real, the experience is so real. And although I know that it's just a game, that in other words, I could pick it up from a board, or could just switch on my computer, although I know it's just a game, yet the experience that I have in that game is real. Real in the sense that I'm completely immersed into it, and in the setting of the game. But I've always wondered, why is it that as children, we need to play a game? Why do we need a miniature game? A game that's played on a board or in a computer. And why is that more exciting than a real game? Well, then, of course, we children, they don't know anything about the world they are part of. So obviously they have to participate in that world through a game. That's perfectly understood. But I'm talking about something else. I'm trying to bring us to the understanding that actually in truth when they are playing the game they are playing they are interacting with the world through the solidity to the solidity of the game the game gave them an opportunity to interact with the world but instead of directly interacting with the world they interact with the game i remember i was playing my football but not in real football but was just only in the game and I feel excited when I played that because you know what? I had in mind, somewhere in my mind, I gained an identity that I was a footballer. But in truth, I'm not. I'm just only playing a computer game. But more important I'm trying to say is that when they play their game, they were interacting with the true world, but they were not fit enough to do that. So they interacted with a world that is solidly be before them but not exactly in themselves. As we get older, we become more real, so to speak. So we engage with real things in our real world, more connected to ourselves. Even at the age of 40 or 50, when you interact with the world, you don't interact through a game, but you still need someone in front of you, somebody outside you, to be your interactor. To be someone that you can engage with, engage with. It's a kind of proxy of yourself, but you don't deal with yourself directly. We first deal with something that is outside. Then that something which is outside gets closer to us. And we deal with that something which is closer. And then we keep on dealing with ourselves through proxy, through the outside. But the outside gets nearer and nearer to ourselves until we become altogether real. The beginning of our life, we deal with many natures, that's all. As we get older, we try to deal with more realities, more representations that are closer to us. But whatever it is, it's still somewhere on the opposite side of us. And it gets closer, but it's still on the opposite side of us. And why are we doing that? We are doing that because we want to touch what is within at the center. We need the opposite so that we have the opportunity to touch the center. It's the center that we are looking forward to find. We are looking to find that I am, but we do it in a very slow way. We do it step by step with our opposites getting closer and closer to us as the years go by. Even when I'm reaching very close to my body, there's still a mapping inside of me. A mapping which creates a duplex again. A, something very close to me, but still away from me. Why? So that I can find the center. Don't be misled that what you think you are is yourself. The truth is that you're getting to the center of the opposite and yourself. And it gets closer and closer as the circle gets smaller and smaller. I realize as I get deeper and deeper, there is always the circle and there's always the center inside that circle. And every one of us 
will have to experience in our life. Why? Because we are reaching to the I am.